So I have noticed an interesting autistic trait. It's hard to explain and it doesn't as yet have a single name. The working title I've got for this phenomenon is Responsibility Hypervigilance. I hate to break it to you, my friend, but this is not an autistic trait. What you are referring to is called uh, Responsibility OCD. See, autism overlaps with a lot of different conditions. And um, a lot of people confuse, um, you know, different conditions with autistic traits. And a way to really uh, boil down what autism is and what it isn't is just based on repetitive and restrictive behaviors and social deficits. There are folks with autism that have OCD. Uh, and this is why, you know, diagnosing autism can be so hard because there are a lot of conditions that overlap with each other. And when you have one neurological condition or developmental condition, it's there's chances that you could have multiple, you know, so what um, he's describing in the video, he's talking about responsibility, hypervigilance, where you're feeling responsible to take care of things and you're depressed, you're hypervigilant, you're, you're kind of worried that you're going to hurt somebody. Um, so you take extra precautions and extra steps to, ensure that everything is in alignment, um, you know, that is OCD behavior. So OCD is characterized by intrusive thoughts. Uh, intrusive thoughts um, can be uh, characterized by just having unwelcome thoughts that come to your brain. And these intrusive thoughts lead to compulsions, which is actions that you take to reduce your anxiety uh, that is brought from those intrusive thoughts. So one of the symptoms of OCD is an inflated sense of responsibility. Uh, and that could be characterized as responsibility OCD, where you're trying to prevent harm to others. Whereas contamination OCD is that you want to prevent uh, harm to yourself. Uh, but in this particular case, you, you want to prevent harm to others. And that's because you have an, in, an overestimation of what you have in your control. And you have an underestimation um, as to what is in other people's control. And when you overlap that with autism and you got social uh, deficits and not being able to read the room and so on and so forth, you're likely to hoard a lot of things for other people. You're likely to take on their problems, you know, um, you know, be an attentive listener, uh, taking notes while they're talking. Um, you know, there could be a, a list of things that you do trying to appease other people why while not taking care of yourself you know while not setting boundaries right staying late after work while everyone's going out for drinks you know um all of this stuff can overlap you know responsibility uh ocd is not an autistic trait um it is however an ocd trait that may overlap with the autism because we know that a lot of these neurological conditions are comorbid to autism um, so I wanted to clear that up because, you know, a lot of people will say that this is autistic and this is, this is autistic when really autism, you know, can be boiled down to the social deficits and the repetitive and restrictive behaviors, but it's not to say that, um, it doesn't impact autism, um, in, you know, in complex ways. This is, this conversation is important because I feel like when a lot of people do, um, self-diagnosis of autism, they don't look at the other conditions to rule out those other conditions. You should be looking at all of the conditions so that you have a really complex understanding of what's happening in your brain. Uh, because if you can name it, you can label it, you can control it. Um, and if you can label it, you can find others that are going through the same thing and you have the ability to um, create methods of, you know, being able to, um, uh, create environments for yourself so that you're not impaired in any particular way. Uh, but it's not to say that you don't have autism. It's just, you know, you know, kind of look at all the conditions and rule out those behaviors, uh, you know, because it, it's helpful, especially if you're going to go get a formal diagnosis of autism. Um, you know, I think it's just important for people to just be aware of those things. And when you go in to get assessed, like make sure that you ask the doctor to assess you for all things and not just autism. Anyways, I'm unhoused. I create content in hopes that people can, you know, um, support me in some way, 
either gift this video. Um, you can go to the GoFundMe link in the in in the in the description below. Um, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much, and thank you YouTube for paying us.